Tracing the history of Jean Tyler includes rummaging through the bottom drawer of her cabinets, looking for old pictures. There's her grandfather, Charles Thomas, who once ran the DeForest Sheet and Tin Plate Company in Niles, and her grandmother, Helen Struthers Thomas. My grandmother was married, was born uh, in Struthers on the hill. They had a big farm. And her father was a farmer, and he was William Struthers. And that farm turned into the large partly of the downtown Struthers. William Struthers' uncle was Thomas Struthers, a railroad baron, whose father, John Struthers, first settled the land that would eventually bear his name in 1798, two years after John Young founded Youngstown. So on her mother's side, Jean Tyler is a Struthers. Her father, Cyril Dybel, was born in Youngstown, but made his fortune in Cleveland when he bought a small battery company. The battery business is that's Duracell was his company. Also on her father's side was Charlie Dybel, Jean's grandfather, who in the 1930s and 40s owned Idora Park. Her family stories, both sides, are filled with successful business ventures. The Struthers, the Dybels, the Thomases, and the Tylers have all made money. Which makes Jean's interest in local history personal. She's been on the board of the Mahoning Valley Historical Society for years. So when it was decided to transform Harry Burt's old Good Humor Bar building into an additional history center, Jean Tyler donated $700,000. They looked at every building, every empty building in Youngstown, you wouldn't believe. And this one just, it, it really hit me because of the connection with the Burt Company. And I thought, now here is a building that has history. And I just think this is what's nice for me to do. When she was younger, Jean Tyler wanted to get into business, but her father told her no, that she'd be taking a job of someone who needed it. So she poured herself into charity work and in the end put her money where her love is. <laughs>